up here uh, north of Logan, uh, just helping out my son on some inspections. And there's just so much news going on. You, you gotta, you know, get a little video out here. Uh, I've received from many of the, from my sister and many of you, this uh, report out of uh, Saudi Arabia, a group of uh, uh, Christians. Um, uh, I think it's called Shabbat Night Live. Shabbat Night Live. I'll put a link to the video where they've found these gold plates with gold rings holding the plates together. Sorry about that. And it's so it's fascinating. And they're in Hebrew writing. This is this is significant to me. Not not just because of gold plates, because I have pictures. Um, that I, uh, if I can, I'll post um, uh, when we were in Central America, the, the museum in Mexico City, I think it's one of the third uh, classified as, as one of the top three museums in the world. Um, but there were, uh, I have pictures of the taking of gold plates with writing on them. Uh, or a gold plate, actually. Thin plate is, is pretty cool, and stone boxes as well that are in the museum. So that's that's in Central America, but this, this was found in Saudi Arabia, an uh, undisclosed place, but it looks really legit. Um, and, and definitely Hebrew has menorah, a menorah on several of the pages, and uh, uh, it's, it's just awesome, and it just shows that um, that gold was used and these thin plates um, embossed or impressed with the, with the characters and the figures um, keeping record of, of things that were sacred to these, these people uh, dated maybe a couple of thousand years ago so it's pretty cool so I'll put the link to that uh, Shabbat Night Live uh, YouTube channel. And sorry about the cars going by, but that's just the way it is right now. Um, uh, the, the other thing I want to talk about a little bit is, is CERN. Uh, you know, shooting these, <laughs> whatever it is, towards the sun during the eclipse to maybe create these tiny black holes. Here's here's my take on it. I think I think this is nefarious, and it's it's evil. Uh, certainly, their opening ceremony for this is is just bizarre. Uh, CERN, you can look it up. I'll, I'll see if I can find a, a a good link for it and post it. But if not, just just look it up. Do a little homework. But um, I I think. I think these these things are nefarious, but I think God will use it for His purposes. So I think it's I, I think it'll turn out okay. Kind of like uh, Satan in the Garden of Eden. He was played like a fiddle. He thought he was getting away with something, and and God uh, turned it for His purposes. All, uh, or it was already in in the in the making, right? So uh, God allows Satan didn't cause Satan to do anything, but He allows. And I think that's that's what's going on with this CERN. And and we think about it, anything, uh, all this technology we have, everything. In fact, what I'm doing here with the, with my phone, um, it probably had some nefarious, uh, uh, if not in the beginning, uh, definitely in the middle of of the the creation of this. Uh, people using it for horrible reasons, and yet, and God uses it for His purposes. It's awesome. So. There's that. The other thing I wanted to talk just briefly about, uh, as another car goes by here, is uh, uh, this up talk. Have you heard of up talk or up speaking, where everything ends with a question, and you 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 go up with it? Uh, be be mindful of it. Here's what I think. I I think that it creates doubt in the subconscious because when things are ask in a question way. Now, sometimes it's legit to up talk uh, because you're, you're legitimately asking a question. But if you're making a statement, but you end in a, uh, you end it as a question, what it does to the subconscious, it, it just creates doubt. Uh, up talk, up speak, 
and you know you could you could say it originated with the valley girl kind of thing and all that uh, probably back in the 80s 90s um but but it it really has affected watch the news watch people who use uh, and listen to it it might drive you nuts a little bit but um many of you have already noticed it you know about it and so you'll you'll see you'll see what's going on but in all reality it's not good it's not good to up talk if you have a statement to make make it as a statement not as a question I'm hearing it more in church. You hear it a, 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 among young people, but now uh, young, the, the young people are in their 30s and 40s when you're getting closer to 70. <laughs> so anyway, um, there's all that. So we'll, we'll be heading to Texas here soon to, to uh, uh, experience the eclipse. It's probably gonna be a little cloudy that day. We'll see what happens, but we'll cover some things there at the eclipse and uh, the, the great significance there. Thank you for the uh, great and wonderful response to the last couple of videos um, on, on the birth and death date of Christ and uh, all the things. I know there's some different ideas out there and most have been very respectful of their different opinions and it's been awesome. Um, so check check that out. And then the, the video we did with uh, Ali Duzette, it's so interesting to see the opposition and the people angry, you know, about that. Um, but it's, uh, it's, uh, You know, we can get truth from so many different sources and we can get healing from different sources. And, and to, to think it's all just uh, Western medicine and, and uh, big pharma. Uh, and, and we know that, that, that sorcery and pharmacy are all part of the same thing, pharmacia. And it, it's, 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 that's all tied together. So let's not think that that's the only route to go here in, in the healing process. But we love Allie and, uh, and uh, uh, really awesome uh, uh, time uh, conversing with her and uh, look forward to maybe doing some, some future videos there. So I think that's it. I will check out the up talk. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll probably talk more about that. I, I have a lot more information, but I just wanted to get this video out pretty quick on this, on these gold plates and um, found in Saudi Arabia. The, the, the last thought I had on that, it's interesting that, that it's, it's, it, they're Christians that are getting this word out on a, on a, a, a more of a, a Israeli Jewish um, supportive themed uh, YouTube channel and and this this is actually the Jews and and I know they're from other tribes and stuff but but the Book of Mormon classifies them as Jews so let's let's say that you know they're they're Hebrew but they're Jewish um, let's just say that now it's the Jews that are confirming the, the the Book of Mormon coming through from from a Gentile nation, uh, it's it's just I don't know. It's like the first shall be last, the last shall be first. It's like the time of the Gentile winding down, and now the Jews are going to be uh, and, and their ancient records are going to be proving uh, the the Book of Mormon, and all this is uh, a, a sign of the times to me, a sign of the uh, of, of things all coming together, and. Uh, it's it's just awesome so god bless we will probably talk to you in a few days um, texas and hopefully you can hear this okay outside and um, you, you can check out the the gold plates but just know that they've already been found gold plates have been found uh in other places in in the middle east um, so these aren't the first um, but uh and also in uh, central america so that's kind of cool uh, so we'll talk to you soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.